Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to learn how to implement sorting in ASP.NET Core MVC application. In our last session, we have implemented search functionality. We are going to implement sorting for first name, date of birth, and is active status. Let's first understand how to implement sorting for name column. Right now, if I click on first name, nothing is happening because this is just a table header. Our first step should be to convert this table header to a link. This is index view. Here we have a table and here we have a table header and here we have first name table header. Now I will turn this into a link. I will put this inside anchor tag. Now I will specify the controller that will handle this request. Controller is ASP controller. I am using ASP controller tag helper. I will say employee and inside employee controller which action method is going to handle this one this is i'll say index now you can see the difference now first name is a link i'll change the color to black to make it black i will use bootstrap class text dark see now it is black i will click on this link let's see what happens see control has reached here but route order is none Look at this address bar. Nothing is passed as a parameter. Our intention is to pass sort order as the parameter. To pass the parameter, I will use one more attribute that is ASP route attribute. I will name the parameter as sort order. Sort order is the name of the parameter. And I will specify the value. See, I have specified the value. Here is some extra information on ASP route attribute. This information is taken from MSDN. This says this attribute enables a wildcard route prefix. Any value occupying the value placeholder is interpreted as a potential route parameter. Look at this parameter. This parameter name should match with this ASP route. Here we have specified parameter name. Now I will click on first name. See. We have received the parameter value. Look at the URL. Value is passed as query string. Now we have received the sort order. Now how to sort the data? Currently this method fetches all the employee records from database. If search string is not null, it will search for those records and it will send those records to the view. To sort the data, we are going to call link queue methods. Anyhow, we have employees. I'm going to rearrange these records. Here, employees is a list. I will use this list and I will call order by method. This method will sort the data in ascending order. I will say I want to use first name as key. Now, I will call to list method. This will sort the records in ascending order using first name as a key. If you want to sort the records in descending order, then instead of calling this order by method, we can call order by descending method. I'll copy this line. The instead of order by, we can call order by descending method. And we can pass the key. We want to use first name as the key. To make our code work for all the scenarios, we are going to write switch statement. I'll remove these two lines and I'll write switch statement. I will pass sort order. Write first case. If name descending is passed as sort order, then I will sort the records in descending order using first name as key. Next, I will write the default case. Default case is I want to sort the records in ascending order using first name as key. Before proceeding further, let's test this code. First time, if I click on list all, we have control here. Search string is null. Sort order is null. This time, only this statement will be executed. We are going to fetch all the records from database and we are going to send that data to the view. I'll click on continue. This time, if I click on first name, we have received search string null, sort order, name descending. Again, we are going to fetch the data from database. As search string is null, this code will not be executed. Now, this switch statement will be executed. Sort order is name descending. So, this case will be executed. Now, it is starting with A. C. Now, records are in this order. A to Z. I will click on continue. We have reached here. 
again continue see now we have sorted the records in descending order using first name as key if you notice this index view we have hard coded the sort order value each time we click on first name column it will be sorted in descending order but we want to implement a toggle functionality if it is there in ascending order if i click on first name it should be sorted in descending order and vice versa let's see how to do that to implement this toggling i will use view data view data can help me to take data from controller to the view we we'll use view data and i will use a key name sort param is a key now i will check if sort order is null or empty if it is null or empty i am going to use ternary operator if sort order is null or empty then i will assign the value name descending if it is not null or empty then it will be empty i have assigned empty because if it is empty then this default case will be executed that means record will be sorted in ascending order key and first name will be used as a key so in this index view instead of hard coding this value i will access the data from view data we are at the home page first time when i click on list all employees their sort order is null so as per this condition if sort order is null or empty we are assigning this value to view data you click on continue records are sorted in ascending order again if i click on first name sort order has some value at this line we are toggling the value if sort order is not null or empty we are making it null and we are sorting it according to the condition i'll click on continue records are sorted in descending order again if i click on first name the same toggling will happen and records will be sorted in ascending order this is how we have implemented sorting now we are going to repeat the same thing for date of birth and is active columns first i'll set the toggle values for date of birth sort param and is active sort param both are keys inside the switch statement we are going to have sorting logic see we have returned different cases for each of the scenario now i will update this index view instead of date of birth text i will add a link and here we are using asp route sort order attribute and we are assigning this value i will add the same thing for is active now it's time to test our changes i will click on date of birth it's been sorted i'll click it again see records are sorted in descending order i'll click on is active it's working this way we can implement sorting that's it for today's session i hope the session was useful see you soon in the next video thank you